Hey everybody, Jim from Slick Audio. Long time uh, no see. Um, sorry it's been taking so bloody long, but we've been like beyond uh, busy. And uh, I know it's not an excuse, it's really poor, but uh, so let's move right in. Um, I'm going to be showing you the Antelope Audio Zen Tour. Uh, Antelope Audio. Um, awesome product. Uh, we are a dealer for these folks, and um, we have uh, got all kinds of stuff we're going to be showing you from them. I've got a Goliath HD Gen 3 here, MP32, uh, let me see, OCX HD Clock, Ryan HD, 32, Ryan 32 HD Gen 3, Ryan 32 Plus uh, Gen 3. So we got a lot of cool stuff to show you, and I actually have a duo on the mics. But let's talk about this for, for a couple of minutes. Um, I've heard a lot of people talking about this thing saying, oh, this is going away, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not going away. It's here. It's here to stay. It's uh, it's their portable interface. Um, so um, I've been playing with this thing, and, and I'm here to tell you, it's uh, it, it's amazing. The sound is, is just unbelievable. So I'm going to go over the, the features here quick, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, a couple of notes uh, with the testing that I've done so far with it. Um, so obviously I don't have it turned on now. I'm just touchscreen. It's for, so tiny you're going to see it anyway. So, um, so on the front panel we do have a touchscreen. Uh, it is tiny, but um, believe it or not, it uh, it really does a good job. So um, these are uh, quick buttons. The antelope button is kind of like a, a um, uh, kind of like a Windows button on a Windows computer or what an Apple button, Apple computer. Um, this select your dial also presses and is a button as well so when you hit it's kind of like the enter key um so as this will bring up a menu this will actually do the selecting and enter and then you have touch screen so it it, it is a very simplistic interface by the way this is a talk back microphone it's actually built right into this thing and that's your talk back uh, button uh, i thought that was kind of cool you really don't see that kind of stuff on on interfaces that are this tiny um but just because it's tiny doesn't mean that it's tiny so let me show you um the side on this side there's a reason why i'm doing it in this order um guys there's two sets of adats here uh and and if you're familiar with adat adat could do eight channels uh at uh, 44 one and 48k and four channels at 96. um so i mean my goodness that you know for a size of this thing so let me flip it on the back uh we have four uh nitric um the, the multi-connectors, I can't remember what these things are called. They're XLR, TS, TRS. Uh, it, and it's really cool, man. Um, it, it's uh, just cra crazy. I, I mean, you know, just to think that there's that there's four uh, inputs there. Um, so in, in any event, you know, I, I, just, I still can't get over it. Uh, there's two sets of monitor outputs, an A and a B. Uh, how often do you see that? In, in a big interface, let alone a small one. Um, that just blows me away. Uh, there's spit if, of course. Um, there's actually eight line out, so this thing is indeed capable of, of running a 5.1 mix uh, or 5.2 mix um, or 6.2 mix. Obviously, we can't do so. Well, you could do 7.1 as well. There's eight total channels out. But, um, but that's your, your line output, so uh, you know, it's your standard DB25. Uh, connector, so it's the, the task game standard that everybody uses. So, um, uh, Thunderbolt, uh, so this is Thunderbolt 2. Uh, we're using uh, the, the StarTech uh, Thunderbolt adapter, which is the only thing that we sell, uh, and we use StarTech Thunderbolt cables as well. Um, but, uh, oh my dear God, rock solid. Uh, I'll, I'm going to talk about that more in a minute. Um, also, uh, USB 2.0, not 3.0, 2.0. Um, and the power, and, and you know, the simple things, right? So I'm going to kind of turn this to the side so you can kind of see this. This is threaded. As a matter of fact, let me just get the doggone connector. So here's the connector, right? And it, it, it screws in so you can't pull it out. I mean, it's those, you know, the simple things in life, right? I mean, come on, man, this is professional gear. That's what professional gear should have, is the, the attention to detail. That needs attention to detail. Um, now let's talk about the front panel. Um, we have two sets of headphone outputs. Uh, headphone one, headphone two. Pretend you don't see this yet. <laughs> uh, 
Um, over here, we actually have four instrument inputs. So uh, it's G1, G2, G3, G4, guitar, one, two, three, four, okay? So they kind of correspond over with uh, A, one through four. So um, A for audio, right? G for guitar, okay? yeah, not bad. This is the part that's wild. There's an R1 and R2, this is for reamping. If you're doing reamping, That's that's uh, what do you think this is, Chris? Eight inches wide, seven inches wide. About that. It, it, it ain't that big, you know. I got pretty good size hands, but I mean, you know, I don't have giant hands. I mean, you know, I can stretch real thin. So, um, and, and if you look, I mean, look at this thing out here, the aluminum and you know, how thick it is. It's just yeah, the feel of it's awesome. It, it is. It's yeah, it's it amazing. Like it's well yeah. engineered. Very, very well engineered. The quality is outstanding. Everything's, uh, the fit and finish is great. Yep. Um, so, so let me just talk real briefly about the sound. Um, I, uh, obviously I'm testing with Thunderbolt because, you know, USB, uh, you know, when you're, when you're updating, um, firmware and the like, you use USB. Okay. Uh, and if, and if all of you has all, <laughs> yeah, I can talk. If all you have is a computer that has USB, you know, it works good. So don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not bashing on it, but the testing that I did for the most part was Thunderbolt because, well, it's Thunderbolt, right? Speed. Speed. Um, guys, rock solid. Freaking rock solid. Um, I ran this thing for two days uh, and just beat the, mm, you know what, out of it. And, um, it, it, and I walked away, came back. Left it sit overnight, you know, turned on, connected, and I, we had our, uh, I had my L1700, my own personal uh, uh, slick audio laptop um, that I use at the shows. So if you guys have seen me at the shows, it's the same same laptop I use at the shows. And uh, I was running um, both Studio One and uh, uh, Cubase um, 10.5 uh, Pro, so the new one. And, um, but S1, I spent the most time in Studio One with it, and uh, I, it, it it just kept running and running and running and running. I did not reboot the machine. I did not restart this. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've heard some stupid rumors, you know, that people are saying, oh, you know, drivers are funky. No, not the case. Uh, if you know how to install it, there is definitely a unique install process uh, that's a little bit different. Like, look, everybody's different. I mean, I've got UA stuff here. I've got RME stuff here. Everybody's in installs are, are unique, um, you know, to a degree. Um and that doesn't mean they're hard. It's just different, you know. So as long as you follow the rules and, uh, you know, and understand or let us do it for you if you're going to get a machine from us, um, you know, the, the, the stuff just, it just runs, I, you know. I mean, and that that's what it's all about. So um, I just, I wanted to, to talk about this thing because I have it here um, and uh, and I, I, I don't think I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this. <laughs> Chris, I'm keeping this. <laughs> yeah, I would. It's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, you know, I'm never going to use it in the big studio. I've got the Goliath HD Gen Three over there, but uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is. Um, I, I'm just, I'm very impressed, guys, with the, uh, with the quality. I really am. I, I think it's a. Um, I think the drivers are, are coming to, uh, in, you know, to on their own. Uh, we're working with Antelope uh, on polishing a couple of things and minor things, mind you. Uh, so it wasn't anything major. It was all minor stuff. I'm um, sorry, I can't see. I, I just need these. Remember to see up close. Um, but uh, yeah, they're they're just good stuff. So uh, you know, it, it's uh, you can call it work in progress. I call it uh, perfection in progress. So uh, uh, guys at Antelope, uh, you know, I, I, I'm I'm gonna mention names, but uh, well, I yes, I am Nicola, uh, uh, Lubomir, um, you know. Thank you. You guys have been have been great, and and um, and uh, you know helping each other uh, do what we do. So, um, in any event, uh, if you guys have any questions or interested in buying these, uh, we sell all their products. Uh, I'm going to be going over more of their products here in a little bit. I'm gonna just set this back here. Cause I just want to put it down. There. Um, we will be at uh, Winter Nam uh, 14018. So 14018 is our booth number. Uh, we will be in the new section, the uh, pro audio section, or whatever the heck they're calling it, the blue section, I don't know, whatever. So uh, that's where we're going to be. Uh, we have a 5x20 uh, booth this time, like we did last year. Um, so, uh, yeah, come over and see us. And, uh, 
if I have room, I'm going to pack this thing with me. <laughs> um, if I don't, I, then I don't. I mean, we do the best we can, but uh, you know, there's a lot of crap to carry, and and uh, and you know. But again, if I can, I'm, I'll bring it, and then you guys can play with it. You know, it's, it's just it's amazing. It's just good stuff. So that's all I wanted to say about it. Uh, it's it for the moment. Um, be looking for more videos coming. I apologize again for the uh, for the delay. Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing some stuff live uh, with the Goliath HD and the MP32 uh, from Antelope, uh, as well as the RME Mike's Disease. Uh, we're also going to be doing some stuff, uh, you know, and, and showing off the uh, the Orions and um, Red Apollo here and an RME. Uh, so, and of course, uh, this little guy, which uh, I've been uh, so excited to play with and haven't had time yet, but uh, this is the duo from Antelope. Uh, so you can see there's a large diaphragm condenser microphone. So I'm going to get things moving, but uh, just to let you know this is coming. This is a modeling mic, and it works like kick-ass with their interfaces. So all I have to say, guys, take care. Cheers. Talk to you uh, at NAM, if not before. Be good.